just give me a moment. Looks like the <coughs> yeah, I'll do it later. Hope that we have some space for recording. Shuklam Brahma Vichara Sara Parama Adyan Jagadya Pinim Gina Pustaka Harinim Abayadan Jadyan Jakara Paha Haste Sparti Kamalikam Vidasapim Padmasane Sam Sitam Vande Tam Parameshwarim Bhagavatim Buddhi Pradam Sharadam Natwasaraswati in Devi in Shuddam Gumyam Karom Yum Panini a Praveshaya Jagusitan Takumudi Yeah, so, uh, we are looking at Napunsaka Linga, Ajanta, Napunsaka Linga, in which we saw the last sutra, Allopa Anaha. Uh, I just marked this, I wanted to talk about this. So, we will go back to the earlier sutra, Asti Dadi, Satyashnam, uh, Sakti, Akshnam, Anang Udattaha, 7175. Uh, I was just uh, wondering last time in the class as to why Tadovachi <coughs> and I missed the immediate earlier sutra 7-1 so this sutra I missed here Tritiyadishu Bhashita Pumskam Pumad Galavasya this is coming up next so the Anuvritti from that sutra is Tritiya Adishu. So Tritiya Adishu will be Ta Adishu. Tritiya Pratya Supratya is Ta. Therefore, Tritiya Adishu. Okay. So Tritiya Adishu here. <coughs> Tritiya Asti Dati. So uh, Sakti and Akshi. Tesham. Anang Adesha Bhoti Udattaha Udatta is a Swara there. Uh, swara unfortunately is lost in the Sampradaya. And Tritiyadi Shu is Vibhakti Shu. Pare. So when Tritiyadi uh, Vibhakti follows Tadi, then Anang is the Adesha for the Anga. So Ikara is replaced by An. Content of Anang is An. So this Tadu, Tadi Shu. Tadavachi, that is due to Tritiya Adishu coming down and this is important because it is going to come up next. I spent a lot of time yesterday trying to understand why, uh, I was questioning last time also why uh, in the uh, Asarvanamasthana, this Allopanaha, that does not happen before this Tadi. So I was thinking why not. It is because of this reason. So, Triti, so Triti Adishu, Triti Adishu, Vibhakti Shu. So, so thereby Tadu Achi Pare. We'll go with Achi, Tadu Achi Pare. And here Achi also, see, do you have Achi here? Achi, Achi Vibhakti. So, Achi Vibhakti also goes to 75. So, Achi. Vivaktav. So they, you can convert this into Ekavachana or this into Bhavachana. Preferably, so here done Tadav. So Tadav Achi or Tritiyadav Achi Vivaktav Pare. Saptami Ekavachana Achi and Vivaktav. So I missed these Anurutis <coughs> which are immediately preceding. I was looking this side. Somehow I missed this. Okay. So now, now that it is clear that Esham, Anang, Syat, Esham, Anang, Syat, Achi, Parajan, Dadhi became Dadhan and then we got Dadna. The Dadhan and then Allopona, this Anaha, Akara Lopa took place, Ataha Lopa and then we got Dadnya in the third case singular. Next sutra introduced by Lagukara is Vibhasha Gnishyoho. Vibhasha Gnishyoho. So I wanted to talk about this as well. So I have highlighted that. Specifically because this, this and 
earlier mark if we don't understand this sutra over here this sutra if we don't understand tadav then the she will be difficult to understand that's why i marked it so what is this vibhasha meaning it's an option vibhasha gnishyu what is the anurutti here 64136 64 136 so anaha comes down lopa comes down at comes down to the sutra nishyo ho i'm <coughs> sorry so this saptami dvachana when ni pratya ni pratye saptami ek vachana and shi pratya where do you get shi she as a supratya when will it follow in which cases ni saptami ek vachana what about she this she uh, ni she and in dual it will decline in saptami dvachana as nishyo ho like nadyo ho ityadi so when will you get this where in which vibhakti do you get this she pratya anyone supratya when does it become she napunsakalinga quite simple you have done this au so au means au and out that is ongashi ongashi we have seen ongashi what else we have you seen where do you say see if it is hraswanta or dirghanta she or she both will get the same form so whether this is now we have to decide whether it is ni she or is it ni she sir she so is it hraswanta or dirghanta because both will have this this, this declension ni shoho we don't know whether it is hraswanta or dirghanta padam dirghanta pratipadika sir not padam dirghanta pratipadika so is it nishi or nishi she this you will get in aunga she will get this dirghanta she and hraswanta where will you get is there a hraswanta she in supratya Aunga she gives you dirgha. What about hraswa? Is there a hraswa or is there no hraswa? <laughs> hraswa she is there, is it there in the supratyas as adesha? Just so she, yeah. So just so she, it will be hraswa anta. So just and shas means. प्रथमा एंड द्वितीय बहुवचना इज शी प्रत्यय वेर एज प्रथमा एंड द्वितीय द्विवचना इज शी प्रत्यय सो विभाषा ऑप्शनली वॉट निश्यो किम भवती विभाष विभाषया किम भवती यू लुक एट दूर्ति हियर अनहा लोपहा अत गोसेर अल्लोप सो अत गोसेर मीन अल्लोपो अनहा द एंटायर सूत्र forget the split here at is not a separate uh, word here allopa anaha goes down lopaha goes further at goes a little further uh, but in this sutra one, uh, 136 sutra we have allopa anaha so the entire sutra le allopa lopaha lopo anaha i'll just mark the entire sutra one after the other 134 and then 136 135 is what 135 we don't we, are, we don't care about now so here vibhasha nishyo ho allopo anaha both are included here however what is said here is that by vibhasha and see this nowhere here what did you have you had napunsakasya earlier you had napunsakasya in the 247th lagu sutra 248 lagu sutra 
nothing like that there is no uh, at least we don't see any napunsaka 64 64 is with, with adhikara here the angasya adhikara there is no napunsaka bhasya adhikara angasya adhikara but there is i don't see any napunsaka here do we see any napunsaka here no napunsakasya so it's widely applicable here allo upanaha is widely applicable what about this next sutra yubhasha nishyo also widely applicable however she she will be only in napunsaka therefore you look at uh, she she sthana is what this this she or this she dvachana or bahuvachana prathama and dvitiya vibhakti both are included here this is what we understand through the sutra however what happens here angavayoha asarvanamasthana yajadi swadi paraha yaha an tasya akarasya lopaha vasya vaya vibhashaya asya nishyoho parayoho he also does not split this we have to analyze whether it is in she sthana or not currently we are deriving which shabda dadi shabda curd so dadi shabda we have done tritiya here what is this sutra saying allopo anaha because anuvratti is there adesha is what adesha is lopaha you have to elide what do you elide anaha al anaha yaha al tasya lopaha bhavati so anaha alaha lopaha angavayava angavayava yaha an that an which is sitting in the anga now is is an sitting in prathama and dvitiya vibhakti at all whether it is she or she there is no anadesha at all because anadesha that's why i said that what we missed here what i missed here tritiyadishu where the stado is coming from this is important only tritiyadishu there is anangadesha and only after ta pratyaya there being anangadesha meaning in tritiya vibhakti onwards prathama and dvitiya even if you have she here whether jasya shoshi or angashi they don't have an in anga in dadi in dadi shabda there is no anangadesha so there is no an sitting there for allopa to occur in dadi shabda in napunsaka dadi shabda but she and she are for napunsaka only so there may be some other napunsaka word where there is a possibility of an being there like atman shabda atman is pullinga but there is saman shabda saman is napunsaka sam samaveda saman the saman mantra that saman is an has an it is not anang but there nothing says this is this ana is anang so an should be there that's all i said here and that akara within the an will undergo lopa so if we land on a napunsaka shabda which has this she or she among this also we will have to do viveka which she is there but there can be a word see that's why when you do laghu laghu is covering only this dadi shabda in dadi shabda we don't care what is happening in uh, prathama and dvitiya she she sthana because there is no anangadesha there and there there is no an there if an is not there then analopa this uh, anaha allopa will happen only from third case onwards because first and second case do not have an adesh at all but inherent the pra pratipadika itself may have an there also this sutra has pravritti lagukara does not cover it lagukara does not cover it and then we won't know how this dual form came in in the dvivachana uh, or and or bahuvachana so we have to see where whether it is in bahuvachana or not but in dvivachana it is why dvivachana because in napunsaka jasya shoho she and what is the next sutra that triggers what happens to that she what is the sanya given to that she sarvanamasthanam so she is sarvanamasthana this she is sarvanamasthana and this an anadesha is only for it this asarvanamasthana asarvanamasthana will get anadesha so 
this C cannot be included because it is Sarvanamasthana. So, this is gone now in Viveka. We have only Dvitiya, uh, Prathama and Dvitiya Dvivachana. So, this is Aung, Aungashi. So, that is Nishi. So, I will leave this in the bracket. So, this is the Dhirgha E in Dvivachana of Prathama and Dvitiya but not applicable for Dadi. Now what is left here? You have ni left here. Ni is saptami ekvachana. In saptami ekvachana for dadi shabda, this vibhasha will apply. You will get two forms. Allopa will happen in one case. In another case, pakshe, there will be no allopa. Therefore, you will get what? Now dadni, if allopa is done and if allopa is not done, you will get dadhani. Both are saptami ekvachana forms. So, I will put a... Uh, Flash there, it is an optional form. However, however, uh, what will happen is that this ni, this ni pratya follows all lingas. Not only Napunsaka, this pratya follows all anga, uh, all all lingas. Whereas she will be there only in Napunsaka. She will be there only in Napunsaka because there is no she pratya in sup unless it gets an adesha through aungashi. Therefore, in Napunsaka, this second uh, first and second vibhakti dual will have optional forms. Whereas in ni ni sthana saptami ekvachana, there can be other lingas also where you may have multiple forms. Multiple as in two forms. So this is something that we have to keep in mind, although it is covered in Napun Saka, we have to keep this in mind that ni, we have to be uh, careful as to there can be optional forms. Okay, careful is an alert. So with that background, what does this uh, Vritti say? Anga avayavaha asarvanamasthana yajadi swadi paraha. Why yajadi swadi paraha? Yachi bham. Because Bhasya Adhikara is there. We are in which Adhikara here? This is in Bhasya Adhikara. And what is Bha? Shri Sarvanamasthanam. Then uh, Sudha For Anapunsaka, Sut. Then what about Asarvanamasthana? All that is left in the Asarvanamasthana. There Yajadi. So, uh, why is here Yajadi and Ajadi? It is because Yachibham. Swadishvasarnamasthane yachibham. When yajadi or ajadi pratya follows, not yajadi, yakaradi, sorry. Yakaradi or, so yajadi is here in uh, yakara and ach. So yajadi includes ach. Yajadi is yakaradi, acha, ajadi, swadi pare. Swadi is suadishu. The supratya onwards. And this will cover taddita also. Swadi covers taddita also. But our interest here is Asar Namasthana, Yakaradi we do not have, but we have Ajadi. In Supratya we have Ajadi, we don't have Yakaradi. So Yajadi Swadi Paraha Yaha An. This An need not be Anang An, it can be any An. Tasya Akarasya Lopaha Vasyat Nishyoho Parayoho. Thereby you will get Dadhni and Dadhani. This we saw that uh, earlier. And then Shesham Varivat. Shesham Varivat like Vari. The dadhi differs from vari only in these kind of scenarios where an, an is the anang is the adesha and allopa happens. Is this clear? Any questions in this? Any questions? Okay, <coughs> no questions. Then, so moving on. Uh, so this is clear. The Dadi Shabda, which is the, uh, which is stock example of Laghu. Now I have taken another example from Kashika because otherwise, these uh, she case is not covered at all. She case is not covered at all. Uh, maybe in uh, Sudhini here. Yeah, he is covered in Sudhi Sudhini. So, yeah, Sudhi. So, he has taken another Shabda Sudhi. So, Sushtudhi. 
सुष्टु धी बट हियर इट इज नकुन सा कमाइंड यू सुष्टु धी अस्य सो देर बाय दिस इज धी इज स्त्रीलिंग एंड इन बहुरी इट विल बिकम so it will take the same gender as the anya pada anya pada pradhanyam due to that it will take the linga of the anya pada and it has to be neuter so it can be sudhi something so say sudhi kulam or uh, whatever it is <coughs> assume that it is napunsaka in napunsaka what will happen hraswa you see in this here hraswa napunsake pratipadikasya so pratipadika will take hraswa sudhi will become sudhi and in napunsaka it will decline like vari or dadhi it will become sudhi however sudhi sudhi just give me a moment i think it is sudhi and then the sutra is what asti dadi sakthi akshna okay sudhi just give me a moment i want to know why it took uh, anang there why didn't check the sudhi shabda there ya kulam so sudhi kulam so sudhi kulam it will take hraswa okay he is taking this uh, sutra for a purpose there for introducing next sutra but i'll hold on to that for a bit let's go to this uh, uh, i'll i'll go to sudhi shabda a little later i just want to cover this uh, saman so saman shabda saman pratipadika napunsaka when you decline it see in uh, you will get samni in the pratham ayi question in प्रथम एंड द्वितीय द्विवचन वॉट विल हैपन औ और औट औंगशी यू विल गेट शी आदेश औंगशी बाय औंगशी एंड देन लशक्वत्ते तस् लोप लीव दैट देर बाय यू गेट ई सामन प्लस ई नौ वेन शी फॉलोज दिस सूत्र और सूत्र कर विभाषा विभाषा निश्चय हो विल टेक अवे दि अकारा ऑफ अन दिस सामन अन sananta so this an akara will go and you'll get sam sammi or if vibhasha by op- option there will be no allopa you'll get samani this is the uh, second case and uh, first case and second case dual dual form and similarly in the saptami ekvachana also you'll have two forms rajan shabda also same thing rajan shabda uh, these are kashika examples rajan shabda also will have either have rajni in prathama and ditiya dvachana or it will have rajani because akara lopa takes place optionally allopa because it is also an so an need not be only anang an okay. and similarly the other words also there what what are given here as to asti asti dadi we saw which may be common asti sakti and aksham so akshi shabda also will decline like dadi so those are the four which take anang adesha and swara swara bheda now there is no adi there an akshnam i i'll i'll look up for the examples other examples that he has given here uh for uh, what is that sudhi sudhi kulam so sudhi kulam the example that he is using here there will be sudhi sudhi not sudhi it is sudhini i am checking why it has got uh, uh, sudhi sudhi shabda where does this nakara come from maybe it is inanta sudhi no 
I'm not sure. I'll check back. I'll get back on this because I am not sure. I missed this shabda here, Sudhi. I went to Salman, but this shabda why Sudhi? Uh, actually, this is I think uh, uh, there is no un here, but then un uh, Sudhi and I don't see an akara here, so I don't know why Sudhi ni. It is just like the this thing I think. Yeah, it is not. Uh, uh, so the, I don't know why it, it is written here. It is not part of this sutra. Okay, it is not an example for this sutra. He just taken another example and he say because there is no vibhasha here. See, he just keeps on writing uh, words as we go. See, my issue is that uh, I have not studied lagu examples. Okay, what happens with lagu is that uh, he'll take up some vartika or some example. The way he has in his mind, he has some words to talk about. He will just keep on writing those words. The confusion there is, it is written with this sutra. Vartika also same thing. Vartika he will bring in wherever he needs it. But then that Vartika does not belong to that, that sutra at all. So if you look up, uh, try to search for that Vartika uh, in some uh, any other book other than this Kaumidi Grantha, you will not find that Vartika there. Vartika belongs elsewhere. Similarly, these examples, he is just picking up some examples. Why? Because he wants to finish Ikaranta. Ikaranta, Nakunsaka, he wants to finish. So, he has taken another example here and there may be some differences there. What is the difference here? There is no Anangadesha here. So, Dadi, he started with Dadi initially. <coughs> Before Dadi, what was our Shabda? Vari. So, he took Vari, then he went to Dadi. Dadi had some uh, exceptions as in Anangadesha. Now, he has taken Sudhi. So, Sudhi, Sudhini, so there is no un here. I was searching for why un here because it is not, uh, there is no uh, word as Sudhi included in the sutra. There is only uh, Asti, Dadhi, uh, what is the third word? Not very often used. There is uh, Sakti, Sakti and Akshi. So, these are the four words. Where is Sudhi there? It is not there. So, Sudhi is just picked as the next word to derive. But then he is just explained as Sudhi, Sudhini, Sudhini. Just like the Vari Varini, Varini. So there is no difference here. No Natvam, that's all. Why he took this? I have no clue. He Sudhe, He Sudhi. Why? Because in uh, this thing, uh, He Vare, He Vari, we saw there is in Sambodhana, Sambuddhi, especially Sambuddhi, there are two forms. So he just mentions this and moves on. There is nothing else needed here. No Sutra is needed here. Further what he does is now is, uh, so we have seen this, uh, other examples, Kashika, these are the examples for Shistana, for Vibhasha. These fall under this very Sutra, whereas Laghukara does not cover it. So if you, we have seen earlier, I have mentioned it many times, Laghu study remains incomplete if you study only those examples, only the example that he gives. So what happens with she will never know. He will assume that the sutra is covered. She stana is not covered at all. And me also, uh, apart from Napun Saka, it will not have been covered. But if you take these examples, you will get those. Okay. So, the next sutra now is, uh, it is quite interesting because the word which is used here is technical. Uh, meaning, it has, uh, it is used across uh, the sutra this word bhashita pumskam. So what is the sutra? Tritiyadishu bhashita pumskam pumvat galavasya. Tritiyadishu bhashita pumskam pumvat galavasya. So this sutra says Tritiyadishu. Tritiyadishu saptami bhavachana. Bhashita pumskam adesha pumvat pumvat. Galavasya. <coughs> Pumvat like Pum, like Puman. So this is an avya. Pumvat Galavasya. What does this sutra say? Tritiyadishu. In this, when this Tritiyadi Vivakti follow, Vivakti is follow, then what happens? There is Bhashita Pumska Adesha, which is Pumvat. And Galavasya means what? Like Lopa Shakalyasya. Shakalyasya Matena Lopaha Bhavati. Here Galavasya Acharyasya Matena 
पुंवत भाव होती पुंवत भाव भाषित पुंस विल सी भाषित पुंस कम बट पुंवत भाव पुंवत इज दी इट इज लाइक पुम ऑनलो इन इट इन नपुंसा का ही इस कवर्ड इन नपुंसा का व्हाट विल हैपन इज दैट व्हाट एवर हैपन्स इन पुलिंग का दैट इज हाउ द फॉर्म विल बी वेयर तृतीय आदिशु इन दिस ताना थर्ड केस ऑनवर्ड्स दिस नपुंसा का विल कैन आल्सो बी लाइक पुम एंड व्हेन गालवस्य मते ना मींस व्हाट मींस द सूत्रकारा पाणिनी महर्षि डज नॉट एग्री मीनिंग पाणिनी महर्षि से लेट इट डिक्लाइन लाइक नपुंसका तादो तादो वची परे सो तादो वची परे व्हाट हैज हैपन हियर लेट इट कंटिन्यू टू हैपन बट गालव आचार्य सेज दैट देयर शुड बी पुंवत डिक्लेनेशन फॉर दिस इफ इट इज पुंवत डिक्लेनेशन एज पर गालव ऋषि एंड एज पर पाणिनी ऋषि इट इज नपुंसकवत देन व्हाट विल हैपन दिस नपुंसका विल हैव टू फॉर्म्स देयरफॉर विभाषा इन शॉर्ट व्हाट इट मींस इज अ गालवस्य means vibhasha the the pumvat bhava is optional so you will get two forms after tritiya tritiya vibhakti not after tritiya tritiya adishu starting with tritiya vibhakti what else is the anuvrutti here we we'll look at bhashita vamsam in a bit let me mark the anuvrutti before that 7174 this is a sutra from where our tritiya adishu took an anuvrutti to asti dadi asti dadi we have just marked the anurutti here see this is the anurutti marked in the morning this is our sutra the current sutra is this tritiya adishu bhashita pumskam pumvad galavasya 74 sutra what is the anurutti here achi vibhaktau so achi vibhaktau achi vibhaktau me ajadi vibhakti pare when ajadi vibhakti follows then what else napunsakasya 77 till 77 it goes napunsakasya napunsakasya angas napunsakasya what else is there idito num dhato ho so num is also there however व्याख्या वॉट इज द व्याख्या से हियर बट हियर पुंवत भाव इज मेन्शन सो वी डोंट नीड एनीथिंग एवरीथिंग दैट कम्स इन अर्लियर इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द आदेश ऑफ द सूत्र करंट सूत्र सो वी ऑलरेडी हैव आदेश हियर भाषित पुंसकम पुंवत भाषित पुंसकम इज द आदेश वॉट इज भाषित पुंसकम प्रवृत्ति निमित्त के भाषित पुंसकम इगंतम क्लीबम पुंवत वा ताद अची तादव तृतीयादिशु अची व्हाट विल हैपन सो तृतीयादिशु अची अची कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू बहुवचन यू विल गेट अक्षौ सो तृतीयादिशु अक्षु और अक्षौ अक्षु बहुवचन सु इफ यू ऐड सु टू अच यू विल गेट सु सु प्रत्यय सु प्रत्यय व्हिच इज द सप्तमी बहुवचन यू विल गेट अक्षु सो तृतीयादिशु अक्षु और तादव अची सेम मीनिंग विभक्त उपरे नपुंसक अंग से गालवस्य मते न भाषित पुंसक पुंवत पुंवत सो पुंवत इगंतम हिज गॉट इगंतम ऑल्सो वेर इज इक् फ्रॉम वेर इज इक् कमिंग फ्रॉम इकोचि विभक्त फ्रॉम इकोचि विभक्त यू आर गेटिंग इक् ऑल्सो वेर इज इकोचि विभक्त हियर so ik yeah i missed this ik because we are in 74 ik so ikaha so ikaha is also there ikaha shashti ek vachana so igantam klibam pumvadva only when iganta the tadanta vidhi has been applied to ik because it in shashti angasya नपुंसक इगंत अंग से अची विभक्त मीनिंग अजादी विभक्त परे अजाद विभक्त परे तृतीयादिषु विभक्ति परे व्हाट विल हैपन भाषित पुंसक पुंवत सो हियर व्हाट इज 
भाषित हियर इट इज प्रवृत्ति निमित्त के वेन देर इज प्रवृत्ति निमित्त इज वन वॉट इज प्रवृत्ति निमित्त सी भाषित पुंस्क इज दैट विच कैन हैव द सेम प्रवृत्ति निमित्त इन पुल्लिंग ऑल्सो वेदर यूज इज नपुंसकलिंग और पुल्लिंग और इन स्त्रीलिंग इज द प्रवृत्ति निमित्त वन for usage of that word what is pravritti nimitta pravritti nimitta is for say manushya it is manushyam manushyatvam is pravritti nimitta to use the word as manushya or to say stri or uh, in, uh, in human beings to say stri stri linga pul linga when you say that what is a pravritti nimitta you are saying it is a manushya <coughs> in human beings you are saying this is a stri this is a <coughs> sa when you say sa stri or you say esha purusha esha patni esha putri their manushyatvam is same manushya however pravritti nimitta you will not use it use any word for to indicate human being Un- unless you want to say only human being but if you want to say balaka or a balika a child they are also human beings stri and purusha they are also human beings but then age difference is there so pravritti nimitta is different when you are saying patni versus when you say uh, putri or when you say balaka or when you say pita pravritti nimitta is different although they are all human beings but if you are talking about balaka or balika a child pravritti nimitta of child balakatvam is same whether the balakatvam in the balakah or balakatvam in the balika it's same therefore pravritti nimitta is same in, in other places let's say ghata when you talk about ghata what is the pravritti nimitta to use the word ghata ghatatvam that there is potness in the pot so when you say there is potness in the pot that is your pravritti nimitta to use the word ghata similarly patatvam is the pravritti nimitta to use the word pata now ghata and pata decline only in pullinga now we go further like balika balaka other places also where there is a possibility of having multiple genders and this is all the more likely when there is a bahurihi in bahurihi you will have uh, multiple lingas but even if it is a stand alone word single non samasa there also there can be a kleeva there can be stri linga there can be pul linga all trishu lingas uh, all the uh, trini lingas all the three, may be there all three lingas may be there or two lingas may be there there if the pravritti nimitta is same then there is a bhashita pumskam there is a bhashita pumskam possibility of such word meaning that in other lingas also it is having the same pravritti nimitta so pravritti nimitta ke bhashita pumskam igantam however in this case igantam igantam is what e u r and l when ikarant not uh, ikaranta e anta when e is the ending right now we are dealing with uh, which shabda here we are dealing with sudhi so sudhi when you are dealing with sudhi sudhini sudhini till then there is no change in sambodhana also no change dvitiya vibhakti same sudhi sudhini sudhini sudhi sudhini sudhini he sudhe he sudhi so prathama with sambodhana and dvitiya are covered with this this is the reason he uh, so i said that i don't know why he uses this he uses this because he wants to bring in the next sutra because it is iganta and in iganta what will happen if it has bhashita pumska see dadhi word that we saw earlier it it is not bhashita pumska because you cannot have that because there is no uh, there is no other gender for dadhi dadhi is always in napunsaka dadhi curd the word curd is always in napunsaka as dadhi in sanskrita however sudhi can be anything here what is sudhi sushtu dhi yasya kulasya tat kulam 
tatkulam sudhi. It will become, it will be sudhi in pratipadika. So what is this sudhi here? Sudhi here is, because we need it now, shushtu or shovana. I will say shushtu right now. It can be shovana also. It may not be accurate. Shushtu bhi. Let's say shovana itself. I think shushtu or shovana. Shovana. Trilinga, shovana dhi yasya kulasya tat kulam, tat kula is in napunsakalinga, tat kulam sudhi, it will be sudhi, sorry, it will be sudhi in pratipadika, but when you decline in first case, what will happen? You would add plus su here, it will take hraso, hraso napunsake, pratipadika sya, thereby this will become Hraswa and then this will undergo Lopa. Thereby you will get Sudhi. Now this Sudhi in Neuter is being declined here. He can go only two cases and Sambodhana. Sambodhana is also Prathama Vibhakti only. In Trithiya Adishu he needs another Sutra. What is happening? There are optional form here. Just like earlier we had optional form but that was for Allopa Anaha. Vibhasha Gnishya Ho. Here what like Trithiya Adishu there will be optional forms. If it is iganta like sudhi and it does not take anadesha, it is not included in the earlier, but what will happen? Galavasya matena, pumvat bhava, because sudhi can be strilinga, can be pullinga and it can be napunsakalinga also. So what is bhashita pumskam, this pumvat, pumvat here says that pumskam is that has pum sitting there within. So bhashita pumskam is that which is not in Pullinga, but in Pullinga, it has the same Pravritti Nimitta. So when I say Sudhi, Sudhi Kulam, that Kula is Sudhi means that Kuli Kula has Sushtudhi. Sudhitvam is there in the Kula. And when I say Sudhi, Sudhi is a person, Sudhi Rishi or Sudhi uh, Purushaha, then that time also that Purusha has Sudhitvam. So, Pravritti Nimitta Aikya, Aikya is there. Between what? Between the word Sudhi as an, as an adjective, as a Visheshana to any Visheshya, whether it is Pullinga or Napunsakalinga. Strilinga currently we don't care of because it may or may not have, we don't care. Because whenever we are talking about a word which is non-Pullinga, in Neuter or in Strilinga, it can be Bhashita Pumska, it can take Bhashita Pumska Adesha some places where Pravritti Nimitya Aikya is there. And what is the Pravritti Nimitya Aikya between? Between a Strilinga Shabda like Balika and Balaka in Pullinga. And right now what is the uh, Bhashita Pumska that Pravritti Nimitya Aikyam between? Aikyam Pravritti Nimitya Aikya right now is between that Sudhi Kula which is in Neuter versus Sudhi Purusha elsewhere which is in Pullinga. Because the forms are to be like Pullinga, therefore it is a Bhashita Pumskam. It will take Bhashita Pumskam Pumvat. Like Pullinga. Like Pullinga what? Like Pullinga Sudhi Shabda. And what do we know? Ikaranta Shabda in Pullinga. Raswa Ikaranta Shabda what have we studied? What have we studied? Raswa Ikaranta which Shabda do you know in Pullinga? Easy, this should come automatically. Before I finish the question, this should come. Ikaranta Pullinga, Hari Shabda, yeah. So Hari Shabda, what is the form in Tritiya? In Tritiya, Ek Vachana, what is the form for Hari? Hari hi, Hari, Harayaha, Harim, Hari, Harim, Harina. So Harina, when you get here, so what will you get here in Bhashitra Pumska, if you get then, this Sudhi will become Sudhina. So Sudhi na is optional Pumvat Bhashita Pumska form and Sudhi ya is the other form here. So what will you get here? Sudhi ya, Sudhi na, both forms you will get. So Pravritsi Nimitya ke Bhashita Pumska igantam klibam Pumvat va tadu vachi. You will get Sudhi ya or Sudhi na, both forms and then everything else will be like, like the, uh, like Vari Shabda that we have seen or Dadi Shabda because in other cases it will be same. 
Now from E he goes to U, Ukaranta, Iganta, Iganta will be Ikaranta as well as Ukaranta, so U, Madhu, Madhu means honey, Madhu, Madhuni, Madhuni, He Madhu, He Madhu, because Sambuddhi we have optional guna or lopa here. So like He Vare, He Vari, He Sudhi, He Sudhe, similarly He Madhu, He Madhu. Then everything else is same. Like what we have seen here, you will have multiple forms. Sulu Shabda, Sustu Lunati Iti Sulu. Raswa, it takes Raswa, it will be Dirghanta first. Sulu Sustu Lunati Iti Sulu and then Sulu Suluni Suluni. Sulu Suluni Suluni and then in Tritiya only, Suluna Ityadi. Then it takes Rukaranta. In it you will have Rukaranta. Rukaranta may not be there. Rukaranta Dhatru Shabda. Dhatru Dhatruni Dhatruni. He Dhataha. He Dhatru. Because Guna and then Urandrapara in one form. Otherwise just low power of the Pratya. So Pratya you will get He Dhatru. Dhatru Naam. Eva Nyatra Dayaha. So Nyatru also will decline in the same manner. He completes that. So Madhu Sulu Dhatru and Nyatru Shabda. He is covered. I just mentioned it here. So what is Sulu is Sushtulunati it is Sulu. So it is Sulu Shabda. Lu. Here it may not be clear. It is Sulu. This is a Pratiparika here. So Madhu plus Su here. Just to show what is the Pratiparika I have written. Because in Sulu you don't see the Pratiparika. Here it is. Raswa, because in neuter it has taken a Raswa Adesha, but actually Pratipadika is Sulu. In neuter it will become Sulu in Prathama Ekavachana. Similarly, Dhatru and Nyatru is Raswanta here. This is the only which is Dirghanta. With the declension, you don't know what is the Pratipadika. Okay, so this is the Iganta. So, A, uh, A, uh, whether we had or not in Napunsaka, a uh, ah. we saw that right raso what was the example there raso napunsake pratiparika se what was the example there shripa shripa in napunsaka will take raswa and it will become shripa so shripam shripam so a uh, a ah, e e uh, then you saw this poo Ig, the entire egg is covered and once egg is covered he moves on to the next what is the next vowel you get a H, A, I, O and O. These are remaining. So, A, O, I, O. A, Cha, Ighaswa, Deshe. He needs an Ekaranta or Ajan. Ajanta, basically Ajanta. Any of the Ajanta, whether they are, if they are valid in, and seen in the language, then he will use those examples now. So, what happens with, what happens with A, Cha? What happens with Ajanta? Ajanta, Napunsaka, that is covered now. With the next sutra being introduced. What is his example here? Pradyu. So Pradyu is actually Pradyo. So Pradyo is what? Pradyo is Prakrushta. Prakrushta Jau. Yasya Tat Pradyo. Pradyo Pratipadika, Pradyo plus Su alright because we should not use Pratipadika. So Pradyo plus Su, he wants to decline this. Pradyo is a Pratipadika, Okaranta. Okara is part of H. There is no Ekaranta, so he goes to Okaranta. From example, you don't know Pradyo. You see the example because it declines that way. Padam is Pradyo. Prathama Ekochana. Just give me a moment please. Am I too loud? I feel like I am yelling. Am I too loud? No. Just give me a moment. <coughs> yeah, sorry. <coughs> so, Pradyo is the example here. Prakrishta Dyao is here. So, Dyao is here. Jau is Akasha. So Jau is Akasha. Prakrushta, not Prakrushta, Prakrushta. Okay. So Prakrushta Jau Yasya Tat. We need Napunsa Kalinga, therefore Yasya Tat, whatever it is. So here you will say Dinam. 
यस्य दिनस्य लेट्स से यस्य दिनस्य तद दिनम तद दिनम दैट दिना इज व्हाट आई होप एवरीवन अंडरस्टैंड्स दिस दिस समासा हाउ आई राइट द दिनम सी आई लाइक द समास विग्रह वाक्य इन दिस मैनर जनरली व्हाट विल यू सी प्रकृष्टा जेव यस्य दैट्स ऑल दिस विल बी द विग्रह वाक्य वी डोंट नो व्हाट इज दिस यस्य इफ यू से वॉट इज सी प्रकृष्टा जेव यस्य दैट इज प्रद्यो इफ आई राइट दिस इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेल एंड गुड बट इनिशियली एटलीस्ट टू हर हैव इनफैक्ट लेटर ऑल्सो आई प्रिफर दिस विग्रह वाक्य इन दिस मैनर वेर यू नो वॉट इज दिस यस्य विच इज दन्य पद अन्य पदम किम दैट शुड बी एंसर्ड इन दिग्रह इट सेल्फ इट इज वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज इज नो कन्फ्यूजन देर इज नो थिंकिंग फर्दर एंड वॉट इज तत् That 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 will be yasya, yasya tat, yasya tat. So thereby you know yasya, dinasya, you know 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 by this and tat when you say you know which linga also. Not only do you know the अन्य पद यू नो दि लिंग ऑफ दि अन्य पद सो यू कैन से प्रकृष्टा देव यस्य प्रकृष्टा देव यस्य तत् और बेटर स्टिल यस्य दिनस्य तत् दिनम दैट दिना इज कॉल्ड वॉट प्रज्यो इन प्रातिपदिक You cannot say pradyu. That pradyu, it will become pradyu in prathama ek vachana. How so? Pradyu, pradyu okara is uh, is is okara hasva or dirga. Okara consumes how many matras? Is it dirga or hasva? इज ओकार ह्रस्व और दीर्घ फर्स्ट पाठ इनिशियल पाठ ऑफ डज ओकार है ह्रस्व दीर्घ भेद और नॉट इट इज दीर्घ कल्याण जी ओकार इज दीर्घ ओकार डज नॉट हैव एच डज नॉट हैव दीर्घ इट डज नॉट हैव ह्रस्व लिकार डज नॉट हैव दीर्घ लिकार इज इट इज सेड एल्सवेर सम somewhere it is said it is uh, it has uh, dirgha but not seen in the language so we say likara possible to do uchcharana of dirgha but likara dirgha we don't see such words therefore although it is possible likara we say it is only hraswa in sanskritam now h is it, these are in uh, you know these uh, anglicized books of sanskrit mostly written by foreigners or those who have influence of foreigners they they say these are what complex vowels they call them as complex vowels there is nothing complex there why complex vowels they say that this is like uh, a conjunct vowel otherwise okay uh, on face value we'll say okay but what does it mean basically our interest is the dimatrika h is dimatrika there are two matra they consume two matras there by they are dirgha what about their hraswa there are no hraswas but as soon as i start to decline this fellow in neuter pradyo in neuter yad dinam tad dinam that dina where prakrusha means clear we'll say clear where that day where the akasha is clear what will that day be called as it will be called as pradyu pratipadikal vi pradyo see jau Jau is the declension of which shabda? See, gauhu is the declension of go shabda. So jau is the declension of dio shabda. It is okaranta shabda here. This okaranta shabda will remain okaranta in napunsaka also. It will become pradjo, but it will not decline like pradjo pradjohu the way jau jau declined as jauhu. In neuter it will not decline that way. In neuter what will be the declension? There will be rasva. आदेश सो प्रद्यु प्रद्यो विल टेक ह्रस्व आदेश प्रद्यो विल टेक ह्रस्व आदेश बाय विच सूत्र अवर सो हियर आल से प्लस प्रद्यो प्लस सु विकल विकल स उपदेश जन्मासिक लोप सो प्रद्यो प्लस स बट व्हाट विल अप्लाई हियर नाउ ह्रस्व नपुन सके प्राति पदिकस्य 
సో హ్రస్వ నపుంసకే ప్రాతిపదికస్య సో హ్రస్వ ఆదేశాలు ఎప్పుడైట్ ఓకార వాట్ ఈస్ ది హ్రస్వ ఫర్ ఓకార ఓకార డస్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ హ్రస్వ సో వాట్ షుడ్ ఐ డూ నౌ షుడ్ ఐ కీప్ ఇట్ దాట్ వే నో ఏ చై హ్రస్వాదేశే ఏ చై హ్రస్వాదేశే దిస్ హ్రస్వ ఇస్ హ్రస్వ ఏ చ్రస్వాదేశే ఏ చ ఏచ్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఏ ఓం ఐ ఔచ్ సో వెన్ ఎవర్ హ్రస్వ ఇస్ ఆల్డేన్ ఆదేశ దెన్ వాట్ విల్ బి ది ఆదేశ ఇయర్ ఏ చ ఏ చ స్థానే య ఇక య ఆదేశ హ్రస్వాదేశ భవతి హ్రస్వాదేశ సతి సో వెన్ హ్రస్వ ఆదేశ ఇస్ మేడ్ హ్రస్వ ఆదేశ ఇస్ మేడ్ దెన్ ఫర్ ఏజ్ దెన్ ఇక్ విల్ బి ది ఆదేశ so what essentially what this sutra is saying is that although age does not have hraswa but when the maharshi vyakarana shastra sutra wide vyakarana shastra sutra gives a hraswa adesha then the adesha for that hraswa would be ik ik is the hraswa for age in vyakarana shastra so adishyamaneshu hraswa adesh means adishyamaneshu hrasveshu eta igeva syat igeva హ్రస్వాదేశ స్యాదిత్యర్థ ఇక్విల్ విధి హ్రస్వాదేశ ఫర్ ఏజ్ అండ్ దెన్ బై స్థాని అంతర్తమ ఫర్ ఓ ఫర్ ఏ అండ్ ఐ ఆదేశ విల్ బి ఈ అండ్ ఫర్ ఓ అండ్ ఔ ద ఆదేశ విల్ బి ఊ దిస్ ఇస్ ది హ్రస్వాదేశ ఫర్ ది సో హ్రస్వ నపుంసకే ప్రాతిపదిక అండ్ ఏ చ ఇక్ హ్రస్వాదేశే బై దాట్ ఇక్ హ్రస్వాదేశే what will be the adesha here ik will be the adesha once ik is the adesha this pradyo will become pradyu will become pradyu once it becomes pradyu plus sa uh, once it becomes pradyu plus sa uh, what will happen sakara lopa by which sutra same that we have studied what is the sutra స్పెసిఫిక్ సూత్ర సంబుద్ధి స్పెసిఫిక్ సూత్ర దట్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో పాసిబుల్ బట్ వాట్ విల్ గెట్ యూ గెట్ ప్రద్యూ దెన్ ప్రరై రై రై శబ్ద రై ఇస్ వెల్త్ స ప్రకృష్ట రై యన్ బి కులం ఆల్సో ప్రకృష్ట రై యులస్య సత్ కులం ప్రరై ఇస్ ది ప్రాతిపదిక సో ప్రరై ప్లస్ సూ వెన్ యూ యాడ్ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపెన్ ఇట్ విల్ డిక్లైన్ దిస్ రై విల్ టేక్ హ్రస్వ ఆదేశ వాట్ ఈస్ ది ఆదేశ ప్రరి ఇకార విల్ బి ది ఆదేశ ఫర్ ఐ wide our sutra and you'll get prari plus su sakara lopa aprukta hal lopa will happen and you'll get prari similarly sunau sushtu nauka yasya this is what we can say prakrushta prakrushta uh, raha not rai sorry raha because uh, rai shabda we have declined it becomes raha so rai i should not say rai is the pratipadika so prakrushta raha yasya but it raha shabda is declined like gau who is declined go shabda raha is declined rai shabda so prakrushta raha yasya tat prarai tat prarai can be tat kulam prarai so you get prari then sushtu or shobhana sushtu also sushtu sushtu naukayasy one who has a you know beautiful boat or a ship or whatever you know naukayasy tat in napunsakalinga it will become what sunau plus su sunau plus su thereby what will you get hraswadesha hraswadesha once it takes aukara takes ukara adesha by what hraswanapunsake pratipadikasya 
Echa Igraswadeshe. There why you will get Sunu. This will be the form Sakara Lupa Aprukta Lupyati. Iti Ajantana Punsaka Linga. There why Ajantana Punsaka Linga is over. There is so Aukara. Nothing else is there. Next we will see Halanta Pullinga Prakaranam. He will go to Halanta Pullinga. He is done Ajanta. All three lingas. Now he will start with Halanta. All three lingas. We will go through this. Start here in the next part. Any questions? No questions. I will see in the next part. Namaste. Nuttavasani Nataraja Rajo Nana Dadakkan Nava Panchavaram Uddhar Tukaman Sanakadi Siddhan Heta Dvimarshe Shiva Sutra Jalam Yes, Karam.